Today I wanted to take a look at uh, patience and perseverance. Um, perseverance being the relentless pursuit about doing what needs to be done for as long as it takes. Um, because we know that achieving things takes time, but it also takes patience and perseverance. Um, the law of patience and perseverance, we find that it tells us that we are to work the process that is necessary for the time that is required and to solve problems along the way. Um, so we see that patience and uh, perseverance go hand in hand together. And like perseverance, patience, um, it isn't passive, but it is proactive. And um, it is the strength of will that um, helps us navigate the obstacles and challenges that we will face along the way. Um, and both of them uh, both require focus. And for when we lose focus, um, we lose patience, which then results in diminishing perseverance. So um, we see that patience is is needed. Is it, it is necessary uh, to persevere? So patient people, we find that um, they are a source of encouragement, and they release positive energy because they don't get distracted therefore they don't get discouraged so this can be very encouraging to those who are discouraged um, and we find that both patience and perseverance are essential skills for effective leaders um, when we are patient and when we persevere we get problems solved more quickly more effectively we get better results and we experience um, a lot less amount of stress, which is always good because, you know, we know that stress can uh, cause premature wrinkles and we don't want that. But I want to ask you uh, just a little bit that we've, you know, been sharing here. If there is an area of your life that you've been impatient in um, and that you've lost focus, i.e. such as this election that we've um, witnessed, uh, mm -hmm. I see many growing, growing impatient for the, the results um, to actually be revealed. But I wanted to take a look at uh, Romans 5, 1 through 5, and it states, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of the Lord. Not only so, but we also know that suffering produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. So patience, we find, is the fruit of perseverance. Um, it is in our suffering that the patience of the Spirit is produced. And it is produced within us, and it is the progression of Christian development and maturity um, that is reached through suffering, um, and then eventually through patience to hope. Um, like back in the day, you know, during Noah's time, um, they were the worst of sinners. Yet God's patience was so great that he had even waited seven days after Noah and his family had entered the ark um, to send the rain. So we are to mimic that patience. Um and we find that patience is an essential portion of the family unit and that the home is the testing ground for the fruit of patience um, because it is great patience is required um, to train children with love and discipline, um, correct discipline that is. Um, we find that patience cannot be transferred from one person to another. It cannot be imparted by prayer or anoint, um, by anointing oil or by the laying of hands. It is produced in us by the Holy Spirit as we allow him to form in us the image of Christ. Christ came to save the sinner. Um, for he is the author and the finisher of our faith. And we find that the great oak was once a little nut who held its ground. So don't lose focus. Keep the kingdom as your goal and um, have a committed mind and a strong will because those things will bear endless possibilities because for it is God who
who strengthen us. God. And Jesus tells us in Revelation 2 and 3 that the one who overcomes is the patient one. <clears throat> so it is easy to wait on the Lord and hope when things are going good. But uh, what about when we experience Luke 21, 25 through 26, when it will seem like all hell has broken loose? Sun, moon, stars, earth, sea, and an uproar, and everyone all over the world in a panic. The wind knocked out of them by the threat of doom, the powers that be quaking. When you look at where you are and where you stand today, um, do you think that you live up to the Christ standard in patience? Um, and if not, what areas do you think you can change or do you think you can improve? Um, and I'd like to leave this with you. Um, be patient with the world around you and be patient even more so with yourself. Um, persevere towards Christhood and never, ever lose focus.